fired up the coals for the barbecue. It's not just the food you should be thinking about, whatever the weather, what about the bottles that go with the barbie? Here to help you try before you buy it is our wine expert, Tom Canavan. Tom, good to see you. Good Tom, to see you guys. To see and you. to see you, Michelle. Happy Friday. Thank you. Happy Friday to you. Yeah, the, sun, Friday. the sun is shining, I think. It's a happy Friday. John Friday Barman here. took credit for that. You can't take credit for that, even though you're in your barbecue shirt. I'm, I'm sorry. In, I'm in sorry. my casual barbecue shirt. No, you're a bit of a cheapskate this week. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> oh, wow. As we're fired from that today. Nothing this week costs more than a fiver. So I've kept Ooh. everything under a fiver. You know, a barbecue, you can have some really nice food and you can spend money on really good quality, you know, burgers or good quality sausages or, or steaks or whatever. But you can maybe save a little bit in the wine because it's not really the occasion to crack open your really good bottles, I don't no. think. You think beer, don't you, when a barbecue or lager A lot of people will be like happier with a beer, you know, and if it's sunshine and there's kids running about, you don't want to be, you know, messing about with fancy wines. So I've picked some three really good wines full of flavour but picked specially because I think they'll go really well okay. with barbecue. Right. If you've got some prawns on the barbecue, some fish, maybe something like that, let's choose a wine to go with that to start with, Tom. Exactly, Stephen. You know, I think red wine, most of them think barbecues, but people do like an aperitif. They like something to go with those kind of things with the prawns and the fish. So wine number one, this one is from South Africa. It's the Spar South African white wine. It's only £4.49. And I think it's a lovely fresh wine. Have a little sniff of that one. And for me, it's all that, you know, kind of nice lemony fruit, green apples I get as well, those kind of really bright flavours. Um, and when you taste it, it's not sharp. I like that. But it's lovely, isn't it? It's, it's crisp. a great wine for the price, isn't it? Yeah. That's really good. I agree, Stephen. I think, it's, I think it delivers a really, really nice mouthful of wine. Not too sharp, not too heavy, but just kind of mouth-watering, juicy stuff. Perfect for the garden, perfect for a okay. pre-barbecue drink, I think. Excellent. What's up next? OK, so that's number one. Number two, we're starting with the first of the reds. And this is another inexpensive wine. This is the House Shiraz. It's from Australia and it's 3 99 in Sainsbury's. And if you have a little sniff of this one, I think it's lovely. It's classic Australian Shiraz. So it's all blackberries, you know, dusty kind of blackberries. Mm. Peppercorns. Peppers, yeah. Definitely get the peppers in there, don't you? Just think of those peppercorns. Lovely kind of dusty aromas. And on the palate, Ooh. again, very easy to drink. Oh, yeah, some nice lamb chops on the barbecue. That would just be delicious with those. Would be perfect. You know, I think of a wee bit, you know with barbecued food, you often put on a little bit of chutney or a relish or something mm. just to give it a little bit of fruit, a little bit of spice. This wine's got all that That's in the glass. Lovely. I you really like that. Like yeah. that yeah. Three ninety nine. I think it's a, it's a bit of a banker that one. Okay, but um, you've got a great bargain at the end here. Haven't I you? have. It's a bargain that I didn't even plan because I chose <laughs> this wine a couple of weeks ago. You know, for the show, I got it lined up, and it was seven pounds ninety nine. But it's an ASDA, and ASDA have put it on one of their rollbacks. They steal their patter. We're rollover. This is a rollback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Rollback, totally rollover. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. And it's down actually from 7 99 to £4.93. Ooh. However, it's only that for one more week, so rush out and get it if you like it. This is the ASDA uh, wine. It's the Ravenswood Vintners Blend Zinfandel, 2007 vintage from California. Four ninety nine 99 in ASDA. And if you have a sniff of this one, again, I'm getting those kind of black fruit flavours. This one reminds me a bit more of raisins and prunes and things like that, mm -hmm. the fresh berries. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Michelle? It's a bit strong, that wine, Tom. <laughs> well, <coughs> Very strong. Zinfandel is a wee bit stronger, you know, a wee bit more alcohol in this one. But it's got that lovely fruitiness again. And you get spice just in the back of your tongue, you know, after you've swallowed it, you get those spicy flavours. Mm. Nice. So fantastic. If you're going to do something like... Um, Burgers or chicken with a spicy sauce, you know, with something that's got a wee bit of barbecue kind of sauce. Perfect for it, I think. Okay, Delicious. what would be your favourite this week, Michelle? What do you reckon from these three? Oh, you know me, Stephen, I'm not a red wine drinker, but I think I like the end one. The end one? Mm -hmm. Oh, excellent, yeah. Thank you for, for allowing me to enjoy white and red wine, like I needed to add something else I'm to really it. I'm really sorry, great. Michelle, I know it's doubled your, doubled your potential <laughs> intake. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I it like really it. has. I think the middle one, just because it was so kind of peppery and you can really imagine it with red meats, so I like that as well. Fantastic value, Steve. 3 99 Yeah, I you can't know, I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's a banker for the summer, that one, I think, also. Okay, Great. what are we doing next week, Tom? Next week, I must be in a bit of an economy drive for some reason, because <laughs> next week I've tasted 80 supermarket own label wines. The things you do for it's us. It's really hard being you, Tom, isn't it? It's uh, really hard. Uh, hard like. I only tasted them, Michelle. Yeah. Uh, 80 of them, and I've picked three of my favourites to show you next week. Again, all under a fibre. Fantastic. Terrific. Stuff. Great advice. Tom, we'll look forward to it.